morning, you guys. Today is Tuesday. I am back home in Georgia after an amazing, amazing weekend. I feel like my face looks bloated for some reason. The camera? I don't know. I might just still be bloated from holding on the water. Traveling for me is not a good idea. My body just does not like traveling. I always end up holding so much water, especially this weekend for some reason. It was just really, really bad. My eyes were really swollen. My face was swollen. My whole stomach area was swollen, but that's besides the point. I had an amazing weekend, so I am currently back home in Georgia. I wanted to do a full day of eating for you guys today, but not coming back really late last night um, didn't allow me to go, you know, get the stuff that I needed to make food and um, just to prepare for it. So I think I'm gonna do it for you guys tomorrow. I work in the afternoon, but I still I'm still able to keep up with my meal so um, I'm thinking I'm gonna do the full day of eating for you guys tomorrow anyways I am heading over to my uh, to visit my mom and my sister that's another reason why I decided not to do the full day of eating because my schedule's a little off track my sister uh, I got a phone call while I was working out at Alpha Lee on Sunday from my sister she had her boyfriend pass away and she's dealing with it right now and it's been really 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 hard for her and personally I didn't really know him that well my sister's a little bit younger than me she you know she's 18 so she kind of does her own thing she's in her own scene and um I didn't really get to really meet this guy but I know that she was very very in love with him and I know that losing someone in general is hard and when losing someone you love is just I can't imagine the pain she's going through, so I wanted to go and see her as soon as I got back, and I'm, that's what I'm doing. I woke up, changed, and I'm heading this way to come to come and see her and just support her and know that I'm here for her regardless of you know of everything. I'm like here for her if she needs anything. So I'm gonna go see her, go see my mom because I know my mom misses me. It's been four days since I've seen her, so she is my mom. For example, when I don't see her at least every day so I'm on my way to go see them that's what's going on right now you guys so if there's any delays in the videos or vlogs of this upcoming week and just keep in mind that that's what's going on with my family my mom and I are gonna go and support my sister so that's what's been going on you guys I'll I'm still planning on doing my plyos my cardio everything today um, so I'll keep you guys in check on everything that I do and yeah so I'll see you guys later today okay I stopped by Starbucks before I headed to my sister's house. What I usually get is a grande iced Americano with almond milk and sugar-free vanilla because they don't have sugar-free caramel. They have sugar-free Dolce now and sometimes they have sugar-free mocha depending on the places you go. The sugar-free mocha is actually really good but it's really like strong. Like the taste is really strong and Cho I love chocolate, but it's like too much. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it's good. It's still good It's an another different taste. Um, but yeah, that's what I usually get if you guys want a Healthy drink when you guys go to Starbucks. So yeah, grande iced Americano with sugar-free vanilla and almond milk Very good. I'm on my way to do my first set of cardio round cardio 30 minutes on the Stairmaster. I'm going to Planet Fitness, so I'm not going to be able to record there. But I'll record for you guys when I go to uh, peak later tonight to do my second round of cardio and my workout. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for right now. And then I'm going to go grocery shopping. I'll show you guys what I get because a new diet starts this week. I have new macros, and honestly, I need to just... I really just need to stick to Whole Foods as much as I can. No more Power Crunch bars. No more other things. I... Yeah, I stick to Whole Foods but I still eat like you know Power Crunch bars I'll have tortillas you know but I really just want to stick to like whole nutritious foods like potatoes and you know obviously my protein has been Whole Foods um so I just want to change things up just a little bit everything else that I've been doing has been okay but I'm telling you guys I've been having stomach problems and I just need to find something that's going to help me get rid of this bloating get rid of the stomach because honestly I don't know what I'm going to do if I if if it doesn't go away I'm not going to get to compete I'm not going to step on stage with a bloated tell me like that's just that's how I am and that you may be calling it an ego thing but I'm not gonna step on stage if I have a bloated tummy so hopefully that'll go away I still have four weeks so um, yeah hopefully things will change for me but I'll keep you guys posted on what I do I'm driving so it's kind of hard for me to vlog but yeah heading to do my first set of cardio I'll see you guys later 
Okay guys, so this is what my cart looks like today. It is full. Dog food, chicken, this light hot chocolate that I've been drinking every single night to get that chocolate like craving away. Greek yogurt for Chris because I'm not eating Greek yogurts anymore. Eggs, Ezekiel bread, egg whites, rice, strawberries, salad stuff, asparagus, red potatoes, and yeah, water. That's about it. A bunch of whole foods, you guys. No cookies, no nothing. Not yet, at least. People always stare. I don't know why. It's just always there. <laughs> so I just spent a hundred bucks. I hate when I have to spend so much money on groceries. I don't know about you guys. That's where all my money goes, is groceries. And Whole Foods is so much more expensive. Everything is so much more expensive if you buy Whole Foods, and it shouldn't be that way. Chicken and protein is expensive. Whole organic fruits and asparagus and veggies and all that stuff is expensive. I like literally don't buy a lot, but hopefully everything that I bought should last me, should last me and Chris all week though. So I mean, I guess it's a, a good investment as far as like how much we spend during the week. Um, so yeah, hopefully that'll last me all week and we don't spend anywhere else because we're poor. Not really poor, but I hate spending money on, on, on groceries, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I need a meal prep company to sponsor me, please, because I eat all the time. I eat so much and that's that. My parents have a restaurant. They honestly like, I eat when I work all day there, I eat there, but it's still like, I don't want to like bring stuff from there home because my dad pays for it. And I don't want to just like be munching off of him, if you know what I mean. So yeah, anyways, just wanted to share my, my emotions on that. I'm gonna go pick up Hermes now because I haven't seen him. We left him with Chris's mom. We left him with Chris's mom, so I'm excited to see my, my baby. We're gonna go pick him up right now, let's go. Okay guys, so I decided to do a voiceover for you guys for this glute workout that I did. So I started out with some good girl, bad girls here. It's the bad girl one. So I wanted to do every exercise kind of lightweight during this workout. I wanted to make sure I felt every rep because with prep it can get really, really hard and you can just go through the motions. So I had a good workout because I went kind of light but made sure I felt every rep. So I started out with... Good Girl Bad Girls did sets of 12 to 15, and I supersetted those with Good Mornings. I don't do a lot of Good Mornings unless I go light for the reason that it starts to hurt my lower back. So I wanted to include these those in my workout though, so I made sure I did a good weight where I could really go slow and just concentrate on the pull on my hamstring and my glute. Um, I then moved down to Sumo Straight Leg deadlifts, but I didn't record. I did them on the Smith machine. I did four sets of 15. No, I actually did six sets of 15 um, reps. I just really, really wanted to concentrate on the pull on my hamstring. And after four sets, I knew I had more in me. So I did another two sets. Then I moved on to here. As you see, curtsy lunges. I did some with weights and then I supersetted them without weights just to do get a little bit of plyos in there and keep my heart rate up. With these, I really like these to include them in my glute workout because I feel it on the outer part of my glute as well. After these, I didn't record so I kept these clips a little bit longer. Um, but after these, I did some banded straight leg deadlifts, some banded squats, and some banded good mornings all to get like as a set, so as a circuit. And I did four sets of those. And then I finished off with some kickbacks on the machine, on the pulley machine. So with glutes, I try to do as many things as I feel like really, really target my glute area. You just wanna make sure that when you're doing glutes, you really concentrate on the contraction of the glute. You're going slow and not just going through the motion, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this glute workout. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Now off to Hermes. Outside, ready? Let's go. Grab your stuff. One twenty two, you guys. Do you guys see why prep can be so hard sometimes? Because you can literally jump up from weighing one sixteen to one twenty two in a matter of days. So I'm just over this. Don't even want to think about weight. So let's let's move on from this.
Okay guys, you just saw my weight. I just kind of want to do a quick check-in with you guys. I'll do a full check-in and a full day eating for you guys in tomorrow's vlog. But just want you to know, this is how I look. I am extremely bloated. I have no idea why. I've cut out dairy. I've cut out everything. And I don't know what could be causing me so much stomach pain, you guys. I've been taking gas pills to see if that helps. Because I feel like that's a bunch of air in my stomach. But it has not helped it helped yesterday, and then today I woke up with the same pain. So I have no idea what it is. I'm just going to try to relax, not think about it. Hopefully it'll go away. I mean, to be honest, it is frustrating to see this four weeks out, but what can you do? The more I stress, the more I hold cortisol levels, the more coach gets on to me, the more Chris gets on to me, the more I get on to myself. So I just got to calm down, relax. Hopefully it'll go away. I'm going to be praying. If you guys have any suggestions on what I can do to relieve air in my stomach, please let me know. So yeah, I'll end the vlog here, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I didn't do much. I went to go see my sister, and you know I did my first set of workout, went back to my second set. Um, you guys saw my glute exercises that I did. I did cardio, ran through posing for a little bit. And yeah, that was my day yesterday, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys tomorrow. And as always, love you.